hello everyone and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to securing the api using authentication and authorization that we have created yesterday for this tutorial first we need to install flux http auth extension and that will help us for the authentication and authorization process to install it open the terminal by pressing all flux f2 bell then run pip install flux underscore http auth then hit enter once that install let's import http base auth class from flux http auth at the starting of the python script so here we have to write from flux http auth and we want to import http base auth now create an instance from this http base auth class next we will define a dictionary for a valid username and password for this simple example now we will use auth dot verify password decorator to create a function to verify username and password first thing you have to note that in this user dictionary the first one is username this asis and noraz is a username and the number is a password and in the verify password function the client provide the username and the password and we check does this username exist in this user dictionary if it exists or if it is true then we check this condition and in a second condition we check does the existed user password matches with the client password that means if the username in password is valid then we return username right now when we access slash students we can see the information now let's add authentication in this route so for this we have to write copy this and also paste it here now let's rerun this first go back to the home page refresh this Here you can see after the authentication, it asks for username and password. Let's try a incorrect username and password. It says unauthorized access. But when I give the correct username, we can see the information. We can also use this written username and display it. And that's it for now. Remember, this is just a basic example of how to secure your API. 
for a production application you have to use more secure method for storing and verifying the password in this tutorial we have taken student information api and added a layer of security with a basic http authentication if you found this video helpful give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more tutorial like this if you have any question let me know in the comment section below and happy coding